What's going on? I'm Jason Park. I'm a feature filmmaker with Hypertube Productions. I've shot four feature films and we're about to go into production on our fifth film. And that's why I wanted to tell you guys why I chose the Blackmagic Cinema 6K over the new Blackmagic Pixis that's coming out. So, you know, for years, everyone's complained, hey, I want the Pixis. I want, we, want a, we want a modular body. We want a square body. We want a cube body. We want essentially the red Komodo with the Blackmagic OS. As someone that's shot three films with the Blackmagic 6K, the OG, and my fourth film with the Red Komodo, I actually sold my Red Komodo and bought the Blackmagic 6K full frame. So I'm gonna break that down as to why I went that route compared to getting the Pixis. So it, it's actually really simple, right? The Blackmagic Cinema Camera 6K with the built-in screen on the back is way more usable for the indie filmmaker, the one-man band, you know, the, the, the very small team compared to something like the Pixis where the screen is on the side. That, that was the biggest deal breaker for me. Essentially, it's like a, a smaller Ursa right, with the 6K sensor without a screen that comes out. Now, there are two different users and in, in, in use cases for both of these cameras because you're going to get the same image quality. So you move everything out of it. The only two users are this. The Pixis is more for someone that wants to have a modular Lego setup. They want to add their monitors and have their cables and have their battery packs and build this rig out because, you know, for clients and for some people, they think that having a bigger rig and having these rails and having these cages and having all of this stuff is going to make the, the project better or, you know, it's going to make shooting the project better. Not to say there's something right or wrong with any setup. There's just different filmmakers. So the Pixis is for that person. The whole reason why I sold the Red Komodo was because of the simple fact that when I went to go shoot, I absolutely hate it. I don't care what they do on big sets where they can pay all these people and have someone to pull focus and have somebody to change batteries. That is irrelevant to me as of right now, right? And it's irrelevant to majority of the filmmakers, videographers out there. It's just irrelevant. So when you think about you know, having to have something like the Red Komodo, and then I need to have my mount for the external monitor. Then I have to have the battery for that external monitor. Then I have to have uh, uh, either an SDI cable or an HDMI cable that goes from that to go to the camera. That adds weight for your gimbals. That adds complexities, even though it's very simple. It adds uh, more pieces that you need to get rolling. It just adds things that, quite frankly, I didn't enjoy or like when I was shooting my fourth film, even though the image quality was better. But when you move from the 6K with the Super 35 and you go to the 6K uh, full frame, the image quality difference is so minor that nobody outside, excuse me, of people that peep, a pixel peep and, and really try to look for things, are going to care about the difference in that quality. You're still getting beautiful images. You're still getting rendering beautiful colors. And you know, somebody will say, "Oh, well, you you traded down." Yeah, I did. I went, you know, you bring up global shutter to, you know, rolling shutter. It doesn't matter. Nobody cares. Like in reality, nobody cares, right? So when you take that complexity, you're gonna have to take that same thing and you're gonna have to add it now to the Pixis right? You're going to have to have your monitor because I don't know about you, but when I shoot, I shoot like this camera here, right? And then most people will have their monitor here or monitor here. This is how you shoot. I don't shoot with the, on the side looking at the screen. So that was a, a, a big deal breaker for me. Um, the size is bigger. I mean, for most filmmakers, videographers, anything, the 6K body style, people have complained for years and I don't know why, because the 6K body style, maybe they've complained because you have to add a, a, a counterweight for the gimbal. But outside of that, I mean, this is almost as good as it's gonna get, right? In my opinion, 
where Black Magic, what they should have done, and it to me would have absolutely knocked it out the park and would have completely changed the game is you already had your big kind of cube style with the Ursa line, right? There was no need for the Pixis, uh, especially with the screen on the side. But in my opinion, what they really should have done is took their Studio 6K, where they have that big screen on the back, and then you just extend that out a little bit. And then you add your the, the Ursa 12K sensor or like the new 6K full frame sensor. That would have been a game changer because the thing about the box style that no one ever talks about is on the Komodo, like that screen up top is unusable. I mean, you can use it to set your menu, but you're not gonna use it to uh, shoot your film. And I don't know where where uh, all these people online get this this idea of, oh, you, you have to rig it out, you have to do this. You don't, you don't, you don't. We've shot four feature films, three with the OG 6K. And what I've come to realize now that we're going into our fifth film, I like simplicity. Because when you're shooting a movie, you're having to deal with so many things anyways. The simpler things are, the better. I've even changed like the way I color grade films. I used to want it to be super uh, vibrant in colors and then I wanted the orange and teal and then I wanted this and that. As I've gained more experience within this space, now as I've matured as a filmmaker, as a director, as an actor, as a writer, I like simple and clean. As long as you can capture a clean image with simple, nice colors, your whites are white, your blacks are blacks, and the colors are just nice. You let the story take it from there. You let the story take it from there. So I know I kind of went on a rant, but the, really the, the biggest reason why I went for the Cinema Camera 6K full frame over the Pixis is that side screen to me is just an absolute deal breaker. Uh, if it would have articulated, you know, maybe you could have done something else because then at that point it's just preference on body. But then also you're paying more for the Pixis than the 6K cinema camera, but you're getting almost the, the exact same features to where I don't know where that money is justifiable. You're getting the exact same sensor. You can capture just as good audio. You can use your 48, you know, your Phantom Power, your, your 3.5 jack, you capture raw, open gate, like you're not getting anything different at all. Right, you're still getting your 12-bit color. Now, if the Pixis had like 16-bit color or something like that, like the Komodo, and the, like that alone, I will say this: if the bit rate on the color was different from 12 to 16 on the Pixis, and everything else was the same, the the monitor was on the side and everything like that, I might have went for the Pixis because of the 16-bit and the the difference in four or five hundred bucks for 16-bit compared to 12-bit. I think is worth it because. In post-production, when you push or you stretch colors in the red Komodo, it goes a long time before it ever starts breaking, whereas within Black Magic, that threshold is really small. Well, then you may ask the question, okay, well, then why would you, why did you even sell the red Komodo if you would go to the Pixis with that side monitor compared to the Komodo with the top monitor if it has 16-bit color when the red Komodo already has 16-bit color? The main reason is this, that on the Pixis, it's way cheaper.